friends the compression ratio in an automobile automotive diesel engine is usually this is between 22 is 1 let us mark the answer normally in petrol engine it is uh, 6 to 10 and in diesel engines it will be 10 to 22 so the maximum is 22 right the cranking compression pressure in diesel engine is about this will be approximately 300 3000 kilopascals that is 3 megapascals approximately roughly 3 megapascals right next question the cylinder temperature after compression in a diesel engine approximately this is a good question friends this will be about 450 degrees centigrade this will be about 450 degrees centigrade next question the ignition temperature of diesel fuel is about this will be uh, yes this will be 400 degrees centigrade 400 degrees centigrade so please remember these values they are very very important the fuel feed pump in a diesel engine is mounted where it is mounted it is actually mounted on the injection pump this is mounted on the injection pump next question in some diesel engines injection pressure can reach as high as so he is asking about the maximum injection pressure so it can reach approximately 200 megapascals this is 200 megapascals let us mark the answer 200 megapascals right the fuel injection timing in a distributor type pump is controlled by this is controlled by this is your uh, rotating the cam ring by rotating the cam ring you can control the injection timing in a distributor type pump right the operating pressure of hole type nozzles there are various types of nozzles one is the hole type nozzle as well one is another one is the printed type nozzle so he is asking about the the opening pressure of hole type nozzles varies from this will be varies from 7 to 30 17 to 34 megapascals 17 to 34 megapascals let us mark the answer right next he is asking about the pintle type the opening pressure of pintle type nozzle varies from such type of questions may be asked friends so because they are all data based you have to remember certain data parameters the opening pressure of pintle type nozzle varies from this will be varying from 7 to 15 so this will be approximately half of that maybe uh, letter that uh, better uh, less than that also right so this is your 7 to 15 now secondary filter in a diesel engine is this is installed this is a must so this is a must so neither of others are correct so secondary filter it is required very much required in a diesel engine it is a must it is a must other things are not correct like installed between the fuel tank and feed pump optional not capable of removing water from the fuel no they are not right so actually it must it is a must it's compulsory in a a diesel engine secondary filter so there are two types of filters one is the primary filter and second one is the secondary filter so this is very much required now this is one is a very good question a glow plug what is this glow plug this is actually it is screwed into the combustion chamber so is it a decompression device or installed in the inlet manifold or used to plug the leakage of fuel so neither of them is correct so this is the correct answer is you are see it is screwed into the combustion chamber a glow plug is screwed into the combustion chamber right so the next question is uh, it is common for the diesel engine to emit excessive smoke during this is such type of questions are also very very important actually engine operating conditions you know that uh, you are uh, startling or idling and then cruising and then your acceleration so he is asking in which circumstances naturally the diesel engine is going to emit excessive smoke this is during b acceleration so during acceleration it is going to emit largest smoke highest smoke acceleration is the correct answer aneroid this is your android you are not android it is aneroid so what is this this is basically emission control device there are many devices like emission control device like converters are there two-way converters three three-way converters are also there so they are going to control 
the emissions like CO, NO and uh, uh, you are what you call HC hydrocarbons, unburnt hydrocarbons. So, this is aneroid is also a an, an emission control device. It is neither of the cold starting device nor decompression device nor a device for a timing injection. This is basically a emission control device. Let us mark the answer. Okay, friends. So, let us meet in a nice video next time.